All right. Let's put some oil on first. <laughs> you like going. some balance? <laughs> yep. Okay, so we're using a little balance just now. This isn't actually one we're going to talk about today, but it is a lifesaver for mm. wanting to feel calm and relaxed and grounded. Balanced. <laughs> balanced. Balanced, exactly. Ah, smells good. Okay, so today um, we're going to do a little class, Essential Oils Made Easy. So this is just really the basics about essential oils, um, and we'll take you through it step by step. Let's see if I can do this. Okay. Um, so today, yes, it's myself, Ebony, and Patrick. I'm um, actually a photographer, fashion stylist, and stuff like that, my career before. And then I've been doing doTERRA, I've been using doTERRA and sharing doTERRA for about four or five years now. Um, and it's really, really helped me a lot with every area of my life, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I'm just super, super keen to share it with you all. Um, Patrick, do you want to tag on what you do? Yeah, I was introduced to doTERRA by Ebony um, a few months ago, and I've always looked for a holistic approach in life. And doTERRA, it offers everything that you need as far as <clears throat> oils and um, a way to create your whole lifestyle and have this holistic approach. So thanks for that, Amy. <laughs> and you're a chef. Yeah, from, a chef. yeah you're a chef. You're from, chef by trade. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the goal of this class is to empower you. It's really to understand what oils are, how they work on a cellular level, and to empower you to use them for physical and emotional benefits. It's really something we're really passionate about and really would like everyone to be feeling the benefits that I've felt in the past four or five years, um, which is, is a lot. So top health concerns. So it would be really good if you have a piece of paper and pen handy, you can sort of write down your three top health concerns. And I know when I'm doing one-to-ones with people, it's usually something that people are like, oh, I don't really know if I have any health concerns. And then you start to say, well, do you have any sleep issues? Do you have any skin issues? Do you have any digestive issues? Um, problems with stress management, have any anxiety, any mental health issues? Do you have like a, a problem with a zest for life? Do you have any aches and pains? Do you have any, do you need any fitness support? You know, are you an athlete? Are you, do you like working out? Um, or do you not like working out, <laughs> but do it anyway? Um, hormone balance, menstrual pain, um, nutrition, detoxification, focus and concentration, energy, oral health. So just, it really covers a broad, and that's just even scratching the surface. And um, we can really talk about so many different things. In this class, we will stick to the very basics. Um, but for myself, just, you know, I'll throw in mind for now. Um, I kind of had like a lot of chronic issues when I was quite, you know, I started about 14 with menstrual problems. And that was really, really, really extreme. I used to pass out and it was just, yeah, it wasn't pleasant. Um, and uh, then it kind of went on and later through my life, I was working really hard and you know, doing all these photo shoots and it was high pressure and deadlines and things. And really it just all got to me. I wasn't taking care of myself. I wasn't sleeping properly. I wasn't eating properly. Um, I couldn't switch off. It was just go, go, go. So um, yeah, I really, I got diagnosed with dysautonomia and then I've had a bunch of other things come up as well. So, um, yeah, I was on like 50 medications for a couple of years, about three years, I think. Um, and I was desperate to get off them. It was costing me a fortune even on the, on, you know, with good healthcare in France, um, at that point, but it was still, um, very inconvenient to carry around all this medication all the time. So I asked the doctor, I had a really amazing doctor at the time that had figured out what was wrong with me. So, he told me that I really just needed to change everything I was doing to go home and detoxify my home, to look into yoga, um, uh, acupuncture, essential oils was one thing he mentioned. And I, you know, I was like, well, where do I get these essential oils? And he's like, well, they have them in France, but you know, I really can't tell you much more about them. So I started doing my own research and I came across doTERRA and I came across some really powerful stories and I came across like their, ethics I really did a lot of research into that company and a lot of other companies on the market and there's it's really confusing there's a lot of information out there so um I really really dug into it you know luckily I was working from home I really wasn't working much at the time because I was so ill so I really just spent like days and hours and nights researching this and decided to give them a try 
And um, within 24 hours, I was literally off my medications. I was relying on the oils instead of medication. I was taking a lot of oil at the beginning. Um, and over time, it's been less and less that I've needed to maintain um, a balance in my body. And I've noticed the changes, like even when you take an oil for digestion, it really improves a lot of mental stuff as well. So it really intrigued me as to how these things were working. It was like plant magic, like what is this? And then I started diving into and finding out a lot about the science and the, um, all the studies that were going on and things like that. So that really made me just so passionate about it and really curious as to why enough um, more people weren't using it. There are 5 million people using doTERRA and it grew to a billion dollar industry in seven years. So there is a, there is a huge um, following for this kind of um, sort of self care. Um, but yeah, it's got no advertising and we're not really allowed to say a lot of the stuff it does. Like I can't officially tell you online that peppermint helps headaches. So the beauty of these wonderful little classes is we can be a little bit more open about what happens and how we use things and how they can help you. So hopefully you can yeah, learn some fantastic. stuff. fantastic. And you think about what it says there, top health concerns. Well, they're not really concerns. If you look at the first list, sleep issues, everyone at some point has a little bit of trouble with sleeping. Skin issues, they've got two young boys, so there's always something to do with skin, but if it's cuts or if it's dried skin or if it's nourishing your skin and digestion, at some point someone, oh, I've got a pain in the stomach. You know, stress management for myself when I'm all, when I'm at work when I'm when I'm busy I need to manage stress and using the oils it helps ground you and helps you focus so you can use two different oils at the same time one to make you relax which could be balance and the other to keep you focused which could be peppermint so a combination of different oils can really get you through the day and and help anyone else that's around you yeah so and I love that so it doesn't have to be an extreme case like myself like Patrick was very healthy. Um, but yeah, it, it can really sort of come into your life in different ways, more yeah. inventively or case by case. We are very healthy, but even like the, the fitness support for young, young boys that are um, training hard, they need that extra support and there's some great products that, that really enhance that. Okay, so if you can write down your health concerns and we can go through and obviously note down any oils you want to know more about afterwards. And there's so much more information. So if you have anything that we don't talk about, feel free to reach out and I can send you specific information for anything that comes up. Okay, so we're gonna start with, yeah, natural solutions versus uh, modern medicine. So with essential oils, doTERRA as a, as a company and most people that work for doTERRA, I can't speak for everybody, but most people at doTERRA are for medical, like modern medicine as well. Okay, but we're looking at what's the difference and hopefully you won't need as much modern medicine if you take care of yourself with natural supplements and natural um, resources. So when we're looking at um, man-produced synthetic modern medicine, it's only designed to manage symptoms. It's made from isolated synthetic agents and side effects are known and unknown. So it's got limitations um, and it can obviously cause other problems. So if we don't really need to use it, that surely is a good thing. If we really do need to use it, we're not against that. Um, with nature, using essential oils or um, other forms of natural medicine, um, it can really address the root causes and the body needs. It's extracted from plants, it's completely pure and natural, and it enhances physical and emotional health. So as I was saying earlier, you might fix something physical that you've got going on, like a pain or an ache, but actually the mental benefits are really um, relevant as well. And one can help the other. And you might use it for um, a traumatic experience and find that your physical symptom goes away as well. So it's a really interesting correlation between the mind and the body. And a lot of people kind of separate those, like they're completely different parts, but they're not. You know, we are in control of our mind and mind control is very important. But there's a lot of stuff going on in our mind that we're not in control of or can't get to that's kind of affecting us, belief systems and trauma that's stored in the limbic system and so on, which is another whole class. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, we want to talk maybe about how it's quite affordable. It's very affordable, in fact. Um, you know, a lot of people think when they're buying essential oils, it's gonna be pricey, but it really depends on how you use them. And if you're, we worked out last night, a lot of the pennies per dose, you know, so even if you were on a very, very small budget and you could only work with a couple of oils, say like wild orange and peppermint, it's only four cents per drop for orange. 
Um, so it's really, really, really reasonable. And if you think about what you spend when you get a cold or a problem comes up and you have to go and buy like even just cold medicine, how much you spend on that, um, it really is quite incredible how reasonable this is. Plus it's prevention. Plus it doesn't go off like medicine does. So um, they actually do put like a expiry date on the bottles for FDA reasons, um, but they're known to work for a lot, lot longer. Um, and even in olden times, they were really handed down from like generation to generation. So you can really have these in your home for years and years and years and years, and they'll still be really potent and work for you. Okay, let's go through. So how do essential oils work? <clears throat> so there's a lot we could go into here, but again, we're just gonna try and keep this really simple just to give you a little background. So with essential oils, if you compare essential oil to a carrier oil or something like that, the molecules are very, very different. So the molecules in essential oil are extremely, extremely tiny. So they have hundreds and hundreds of compounds in there and they soak in through your skin. So I used to think of my skin like a barrier, like I would put things on it and not really realize that everything I was putting on my skin, including my clothes with dye and everything like that, is actually leaching through our skin and through our bodies, which gives us a huge um, toxic intake. If you think about some of the products we've all probably been using, unless you'd be more knowledgeable than I was. But I was using a lot of like perfume products, you know, body lotions, um, all different kinds of potions and lotions, um, shower gels, uh, laundry detergents, things like that. So with essential oils, they actually go through the skin and help our body um, that way as well. Now with carrier oils, the molecules are much bigger, so they lie on top of the skin. So if you're using coconut oil or olive oil, or anything like that, it's gonna lie on the skin, you're gonna feel quite greasy, which also has a place if you have very dry skin or something like that, and they have their own benefits, which is wonderful. Essential oils are different though. They're very, very tiny molecules. So if you put a drop of pure essential oil that's not with a carrier oil on your skin, it's gonna disappear really, really fast. Go through your skin and actually go into your bloodstream and into all the different cells in your body and it permeates through the cell wall. The second um, image here is about it going through the cell wall. Because it's fat, it can actually permeate that cell wall, unlike synthetic medicine. So it can be really powerful if you have bacteria or a virus inside the cell, that it's not gonna kill the cell as such, but it's going to speed up the cell, uh, sorry, the virus to leave the cell or get rid of bad cells or renew cells that can be renewed. So it's a really, really powerful way to impact the body like that. Um, it can be a lot more effective than modern approaches to health problems because of this. Um, yeah, and they actually go inside the cell, which is really a fun fact. And you can actually feel it as well. Like when you put a lot of the other week when I had some horrible symptoms and obviously we've got this COVID thing going around. So I was, um, I took action right away. And I was covering my feet with um, oregano, melaleuca, um, and a bunch of other oils. I was using thyme and lemon and a bunch of different things. Um, so when I was putting them on my foot and I was literally putting them on the soles of my feet and doing it repeatedly, maybe every 20 minutes, half an hour, every hour, like really just draining my body in the stuff. Um, and I could taste it in my mouth within, literally within seconds or minutes, you can taste it in your mouth. So yeah, and even with a baby, they've done experiments where you put diluted, you always dilute for babies, and uh, you put peppermint on their feet and you can actually taste it in the dummy within seconds. So that's how fast it goes through your body. So it has a really potent effect like that. So we'll go on to like what essential oils actually are. So when you're smelling a peppermint leaf, and you can see in this first diagram here, there's like little sacks on the peppermint leaf. So that's the essential oil. That's what you can smell. Like when you make a tea with fresh peppermint leaves and the smell is really intense and amazing, that's the essential oil of the plant. So it comes in different forms. It can come from the bark, the roots. Um, it comes from the skin of an orange or a citrus fruit. Um, it's even found in the seeds of, of plants. So it's actually like it plays a role like the immune system of the plant. It helps protect the plant from the elements and all the things that can come against it in nature. So the weather, insects, things that are going to attack it, it can deter and it can also attract the right things. 
So it plays a really, really important role um, in nature. And we're literally taking the most potent part of the plant because it's 50 to 70 times more potent than herbs. So if you've ever used herbal medicine, that can be really, really helpful. But this is like the most potent part of the plant subtracted, and we're using it in a similar way to get much more powerful and um, extreme results, I guess you could say. So it's a good um, equation to compare it if you're going to drink peppermint tea after a meal for digestion. That's really wonderful to help. But if you look at the equivalent, one drop of peppermint is equivalent to 28 cups of peppermint tea. So you can start to see the potency <laughs> that we're talking about here. They're 100% natural and safe. There's no side effects and no addictions. There's a couple of medications that are very um, strong that you wouldn't be recommended to use uh, too much essential oil with or certain essential oils with. But generally speaking, essential oils are safe for everyone and can even be used, not every oil as well, this is something to look into, but if you're pregnant or you have babies, you're breastfeeding, all that kind of stuff, it's still very safe to use most essential oils in moderation for your body. Um, extracts from plants with amazing health benefits and they're certified pure therapeutic grade, pure and potent. So we'll go into that in a moment. So the doTERRA difference. So doTERRA oils are completely different to other essential oils on the market. There are, most essential oils on the market are synthetic. So when you look at the bottle, a lot of essential oils even have like crazy ingredients in them. Um, they will be sold as essential oil and they might even say pure. There are no regulations for that kind of thing. There are actually no regulations at all on essential oils worldwide. And part of that is, you know, they're, they're sourced from all over the world. So frankincense is from Somalia. Now, different countries have different standards. So doTERRA brought in a standard, which is beyond organic, to make sure that their oils are completely pure. So you can actually look up the lot number on the bottom of any of our bottles of oil and find the test results for that. And they get tested between six different, uh, different types of tests and they actually go out for third party testing as well. So you can actually see those results. And it's very important because doTERRA are teaching people to use this in a therapeutic way, almost like a medicine. So, you know, with that many people using in America, I mean, they, they see you for everything in America. So they have to be exceptionally, exceptionally careful. And that's really an obsessive thing. I mean, the, the owners are incredible of doTERRA, the seven owners, and it really comes from the source. So it's not just one person that, you know, it's got to pass through seven people and there's huge moral obligations. So they don't just put things in bottles if they don't pass exceptionally high tests. Whereas other companies might do it because they could still sell them and make the money. But doTERRA know that if they do that, the, the standard will go down, the results will go down and they could end up getting in massive trouble because they're encouraging people to use this in such a um, massive way to improve their health. So there are a small amount on the market that are food grade, that are perfectly safe and pure. They don't have any preservatives, they've been grown well, but they might have been farmed in a place that wasn't indigenous to the plant. They might have been collected in a plastic bottle and leached the toxins from the plastic bottle. Um, there's a whole bunch of ways why that would not be considered therapeutic. Now, the ther even there's a small amount on the market that are therapeutic that are not doTERRA, but we also find that doTERRA are just so obsessive about their sourcing and their ethics and all that kind of stuff that the standard is completely different to everything out there. So if you grow even organically in your own garden, peppermint plants, the likelihood is the, the chemical constituents in that peppermint are not going to be the same as if it was growing indigenously in the wild. So what doTERRA do is they go into all different countries and they test the chemical components of every plant and they work with people um, in co-impact sourcing, which means that they don't go in and like buy up land. They go in and work with people um, who have been doing this for hundreds of years and who know the craft inside out. So it's very sustainable. You know, they don't go in and over. Um, As a farm. Or yeah. Or harvest to use. Exactly. So, um, you know, it was a case where like the, the frankincense trees in Somalia, because of the value of them, they'd gone in and just really massacred these trees and they were literally just in such a bad state. So doTERRA went in, they didn't buy up the plants, they didn't buy up the, the ground, 
they paid the farmers for three years, three million dollars they paid these farmers and harvesters so that they would have income above what they would normally have just to nurture those trees back to health. And they weren't going to touch them at all. And the relationships that they build with these people, you know, they're helping their villages, they're putting in water, they're building schools. They were the first people to build schools after the Haiti disaster. Before the government rebuilt any schools, doTERRA had built two or three schools. So they just, they really, really take that very, very seriously because that's the whole integrity of the company and the whole integrity of the oils. So it's really, really important that everything, and they actually sell on, like if they have oil that doesn't adhere to those standards, they don't go into Terra bottles. They'll sell it on to perfume companies, other essential oil companies. There are a lot of uses for essential oil that doesn't have to be the way we use them. So yeah, they're really, really obsessed with that. that. <laughs> and then the other day, we, um, we came across this essential oil um, from a friend of Patrick's who um, had bought these oils in his home and was using them in a diffuser. And we asked him to send a photo. And um, looking at the ingredients, it just explains exactly what we're trying to avoid people using. Um, you know, these essential oils are filled with chemicals that you should not be ingesting, breathing in, or using in any way, um, certainly not ingesting. But even if we're breathing it in, it's still going internally. And even if we're putting them on our skin, it's still going internally. So it's really, really important not to use um, you know, your $5 oils from, even from health stores, a lot of that oil is not pure. So just be really, really careful. I, we're only talking about doTERRA oils here for standard. Um, we were gonna talk a little bit just about this, just threw this in. It's a modern, um, this was a study I came across um, the other day. So it's modern approach to medicine is based on managing symptoms. Complementary and preventative alternatives are about treating the root cause. So surveillance, this is the study's name, surveillance of prescription drug-related mortality using death certificate data. And the conclusion of this study was that uh, deaths due to overdoses are the most prominent cause of drug-related mortality in death certificate data. Certain drugs and drug classes, especially the opioids, narcotics, and methadone, psychoactive drugs, e.g. antidepressants, amphetamines, anticoagulants, and antibacterials, which cause or contribute to C. difficile enterocolitis are associated with large and increasing numbers of deaths and preventative strategies should be considered. So this is not to say that if you really are in need of antidepressants or any of these kind of things, that there's not a place for them, but it shouldn't be the first place we go and it should be taken very seriously. Um, and it shouldn't be taken lightly, I guess you could say. And if there is an alternative, then that surely is a preferable way to go. Okay, I'm going to pass over to Patrick soon, but I'll just finish here with, that kind of brings us on to the doTERRA wellness lifestyle. So this is how we're taught to use the oils. Um, and it's how, I think as people, that's kind of how we really believe yeah. things should be anyway. Um, so really, obviously, Patrick's a chef, so <laughs> he knows this, and I had to learn this after being sick for so long is that really the foundation of all health is eating right. Um, so, you know, we really want to make sure that we're not getting lots of pesticides in our food um, and toxins in that way. And obviously our food is compromised just because of the way the world is just now. You know, we've got a lot of toxins in the air, in the soil, in the rain, um, in the sea. So it's kind of unavoidable. And the vitamin levels of food has gone down dramatically over the years. So, um, you know, it is a really good idea to supplement your nutrition with some really good quality supplements. And there's a lot out there that don't do any good and they don't get absorbed by the body um, or it's not from sustainable sources. So good supplements are really important and doTERRA has amazing supplements for that. And then you go on to exercise, which is a really important, obviously, factor of wellness lifestyle, movement. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to become a triathlete. You can just, you know, a little walk every day a little jump around, uh, a little dance, you know, it could be something really fun, but movement is really, really important for everyone, wherever possible. Like even I have a girl on the team um, who does amazing Zumba classes and I love it when she shares that she's worked with people in like old people's homes and she works with people who can't even get out their chair 
and they're still giving it, you know, little dance moves. And it's just amazing what that does for their body, their mind, their soul, everything. So I love that. Um, yeah, so if you're exercising, there's also a lot of essential oils that can help with that. Um, rest and management stress. So it's something that a lot of people live with a lot of stress, whether it's through periods of their life or quite chronically. Um, you know, whether it's a lack of sleep, a lack of being able to switch off, whether it's um, just living in high anxiety, um, sort of living on the edge. Um, so that's another thing that essential oils have an amazing power to help with. Um, reducing the toxic load. So in our homes, as I mentioned earlier, our homes are full of toxic stuff. You know, we watch something the other day and there's just facts out there all the time. But one that just got me the other day is if, you know, a child was to, to eat a whole tube of toothpaste, which obviously you would hope they didn't do. But if they were to eat a whole tube of toothpaste, the amount of chemicals and fluoride in that toothpaste would actually kill a small child within a few hours. Um, and there's a lot of products that we're cleaning our surfaces with. You look at the back and it's danger. Do not, you know, ingest and so on. So we really do have to think about what we're using in our homes and, and how that affects our toxic load in our bodies. And then, you know, once you've looked after all those steps, you can go to inform self-care. So that's really, you know, if you have digestive issues using an oil like Sengest, or if you have um, a little anxiety using something like Balance or some wood oils to help you with that. So that's informed self-care. And then if, if we're still having issues, that's when you really go into proactive medical care. So that's when you would take a synthetic medicine or get a surgery or you know get some tests or things like that so that's really it should be the the last resort the last resort really yeah but still needed at times. but still needed yeah absolutely yes. and we're not against that i know i've used medical systems i know you have yeah um, and we're very grateful for that and for doctors um at those times <laughs> okay so right this is my last section and then i'll pass on to patrick <laughs> But um, the three ways to use doTERRA essential oils. So we're gonna talk about aromatic, topical, and internal. And please feel free to jump in, Patrick, as well, because yeah. I know you have a lot of knowledge. But yes, aromatic, so aromatic, you can use the oils aromatically. So like we did in the beginning, you can drop a little oil on the palm of your hand and literally just inhale from your hands, which is a really wonderful way to get those effects. Now the actual, the compounds are gonna be in the air. You're breathing those little compounds in and they're going inside your body, inside your brain, inside your lungs and inside all the cells in your body. So it's a really powerful and fast way to feel the effect. Even better than doing this would be to use a diffuser. So the diffuser allows you to put a few drops in water and it will disperse in the air for something like two to 10 hours. Um, and it also has really nice lights, which also have a great effect on us. Um, and this just really helps us, A, save money because you're only using a few drops and it lasts for so long. Um, it allows us to affect other people in the same vicinity. So if you have a family at home, two to four drops can affect everyone, which is a really wonderful way. Um, I know people that put on diffusers on their, you know, in their kids' bedrooms before they wake up. So they wake up in a good mood. <laughs> um, and it, yeah, it really does make a difference. Like we think it's just about smell and smell has a really powerful effect. So if you are, um, it might bring back memories or something like that or associations. And it really does. Like the more you use essential oils, that's why you get actually use less over time than, than more because your body starts to recognize the effect that it's supposed to have and it happens faster. So instead of with synthetic medicine, you often have to use more and more and more. Whereas with essential oils, you tend to use more at the beginning and you use less and less as you go on. Um, so, and what I found really interesting is in the studies, people with no sense of smell still have the same effects from essential oils because the, the compounds are what is actually doing the difference. The smell is like a complementary part of that. And it cleans the air as well. So if you do have toxins in the air and we all do, I mean, our houses are filled with, um, even with the best of intentions, we have furniture, you know, with glue in it. We have dye in the fabrics. We have, um, you know, dye in the floors and the paint and everything like that. So really, even with the best of intentions, the environment is filled with toxins. It's not, you know, our homes can be actually even more so. 
um, especially things like candles and things can be really, really toxic. So uh, diffusers can be a wonderful way um, to avoid using candles so much and uh, air fresheners and things like that. Uh, so then topically is another way to use the oil. So that is a little bit even more effective, I think, than aromatherapy. I wouldn't say more effective, but a little bit more powerful, especially for like specific problems. So by that, we mean putting it on our skin. So you can pop it on your hands um, and rub it. The back of your neck is a really great place, the back of your spine. If you have someone to help you, you can even put it all the way down the spine. That's really fantastic. You can put it on the bottom of your feet is a really powerful place to put them. And if you don't like the smell of an oil, that's even better because it's not so close to your nose. Um, you can use it straight or you can dilute it. So the difference really being if you use it straight, it's going to go inside your body really fast and it's going to go through your body really, really fast. And if you dilute it with coconut oil or olive oil or something like that, it's going to go through your skin a lot slower and go through your body a lot slower. So that can be really helpful if you have a sore shoulder or a sore elbow or a sore knee or something. If you dilute it, you're gonna have much better results because it's not gonna disperse through your whole body fast. It's going to stay in that area. So that's a really wonderful way to use essential oils. And then eternally, and I, I really am strong about the fact that I don't recommend this for any other oils than from doTERRA. And it must be not doTERRA on Amazon where people have refilled bottles and resealed them. This has to be from the company to your own account or to someone's account that is a legitimate um, you know, customer of doTERRA. Um, and these oils will be completely, completely pure and tested. And you can take those internally. So you can actually just pop. <clears throat> Patrick made this this morning for me. So that's got a little lime and zendocrine in there. So you can use a little oil like that. I'm gonna to have to take a sip because I've been talking for so long. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so that's a really wonderful way to cleanse the body um, and get the effects like really, really strong. I also love to take what well, we both do. We both take supplements every day from doTERRA. So that's a really great way to get those benefits right in your gut and right where you need them. Um, and you can make your own as well. You can make your own supplements. Uh, sorry, your, yeah, your own supplements. Um, so you can buy the little capsules and you just open them up and put a few drops in of whatever oils you need and just swallow them over. And that, that's a really great way as well. And then I also do it under my tongue. So this morning I did a couple of drops of frankincense and a couple of drops of copaiba under my tongue. And that just goes into the blood capillaries and goes into your blood system really, really fast. So another really powerful way to get those benefits. Okay, now I'm going to pass over to Patrick. <laughs> we can take you through our favorite oils. <laughs> <coughs> Thanks, Ebony. So here we go. We're going to talk about probably the, the top 10 oils, the basic oils that we, um, that we have on hand all the time. Um, so lemon, starting on the left there, it is what we take every morning in our water and basically just for detoxification. But not only does it taste good, it's really beneficial to get this into your gut um, so it does, it does boost your energy, it, it cleans, cleans your system, and it also creates positive, positive mood. And like I said, it, it tastes really good. But not only that, oil is obviously very strong. Uh, it's a great cleaner. So we use that um, blended with water in our spray bottles for yeah, degreasing and also cleansing and detoxing our, our bench tops with um, some, other, some other oils. Um, then we have lavender. Now lavender is another really powerful oil. It's probably one of the most known oils as far as if you know anything about essential oil, you would have always heard about lavender. It's a very calming oil. It really helps with relaxation. It helps you sleep well. And yeah, I'm just found out that it's great for sunburn and burns. So if you burn yourself in the kitchen, just put lavender oil straight on it and that will take away the, the pain and also help heal it really, really quickly. Uh, mosquito bites, it's even better than Melaleuca for mosquito bites. We found that out last year when we were in Australia that <laughs> you know, you know, you've got to get the, uh, the ones that work and lavender definitely works on the, um, on, the, on the itchy bites. And the calming effect, it does take away anxious feelings. So you need to, if you, if you are anxious and you, you um, use lavender, it will bring you 
more grounded and, and help you relax and focus on what you need to do. Also in food, lavender is, is great to um, in putting put in your cooking and your baking and we'll talk about that another day, but lavender is, is also a favorite that we use. Um, and yeah, for dry skin and lips, lavender is um, fantastic for that. Yeah, I even used it the other night for um, sore jaws when I woke up after being asleep. I think the subconscious tension of the world right now is getting to me and I was grinding my teeth in my sleep. So a little lavender on your jaw and just like you can literally just feel and all the muscles relax while you're sleeping. So I woke up without having that horrible feeling in my jaw tension. It's a really good one to diffuse to get that calming effect throughout the house and especially when you're going to sleep. Pets anxiety as well. I think about that. <coughs> yeah. Separation. So. Um, peppermint is the other famous essential oil. Now peppermint is, is a hot oil so you need to be careful if you're applying it to you around your face like it's okay on your neck but you will get some sensation especially if you use it straight it's always good to sort of dilute the peppermint a little bit with the, at least four to one with the carrier oil like a fractionated coconut oil but i use peppermint in a blend so i've got my own day blend that i made so i use um one blend which is called console which is keeps me alert and grounded well not so much alert but it keeps me grounded and keeps me um, focused on what i need to do but the peppermint boosts the energy. So I'm using two oils in one, one's a calming and one's an energetic oil. But a little bit of peppermint in your blend will just help keep you active and focused on what you need to do. And like the, the brain focus with peppermint is fantastic. It just keeps you on edge and keeps you, working, keeps you working hard. Now, if I'm really tired, I'll use peppermint straight and put that on and you wake up, you're feeling tired, you put on a bit of peppermint and you're running for hours. So my staff can't keep up with me when I'm on peppermint. <laughs> they wonder how come I've got so much energy, but it's because of the oil. It's the peppermint oil it just really, really gives you so much energy. And, and it's a strong flavor as well. So you, if you're wearing it pretty much straight, people will say, what's that smell like? They can really smell it. And it's, it's, it's also great if you're feeling, um, if you've got any aches and pains. Um, like I said, it's, it's got such a, such a big aroma. People can smell you for meters away. So it's really nice in that, in that aspect. Yeah, I said it improves mental focus. It really does. It, it's fantastic for that. And great for the airways. If you've got a little cold, a little sniffle, a bit of peppermint will always help clear that and keep your breathing. Um, there's over 242 registered yeah. uses for peppermint. Yeah. So it might seem crazy, but there's a lot of different ways you can use it. Yeah, my boys have the headaches now and again. Well, probably more, more again than now. And they, not so much, I mean, they, they would always reach, would always reach for paracetamol, always. But since using mm. peppermint oil, um, obviously it, it sometimes it doesn't work straight away because you could have a really bad headache. But just keep applying it, dilute it with the fractionated coconut oil, so it's so you can apply it close to the temples, get it up around here and on the back mm. of the neck, so it doesn't burn too much. But breathing it in and then reapplying if your headache hasn't gone, and you'll find that within uh, a few applications that the headache will, will calm down and get you back into the place you need to be. So peppermint is, you have to have that in your arsenal, you have to have it. Uh, Melaleuca is probably the other one. Melaleuca is really well known in Australia, the tea tree oil, and are used a lot for the bites, but again, lavender will beat it, but it's still really good for bites and it's good for skin. Um, but it's also good for, for helping you if for the boys, if they've got spots in that, we always apply a bit of Melaleuca. Uh, Ollie's fantastic for his facials. So we have a blend of frankincense and Melaleuca for our facials. And that seems to work really well. And he said, I'm looking younger every day since we've been using <laughs> uh, Hair lice, never knew this one, but it's, it's great for hair lice, a natural product yeah. for hair lice. The kids at school, I've been through this quite a few times where you've got a comb out there. The hair lice and you have to use this really toxic shampoo which absolutely it's really bad smell <laughs> so i wish i had known about the maluka back in those days uh yeah and no, like it freshens up sports shoes and that's an anti-fungal cleaner and yeah great great foot treatment but that's a maluka and comes from australia by the way the maluka that doTERRA use does come from this source from australia uh oregano now this is a really potent oil and it's great, it's, it's really nature's antibiotic. It is very, very hot. So you can't just put this straight on your skin. You need to dilute it. 
and preferably probably want to start with it on your feet. You would never go anywhere near your face with oregano. It has happened in the past. I've done it accidentally <laughs> in your mouth, like, but then it, 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 it does work. But oregano, this is so potent, you can put two drops of this in a tomato sauce on the stove and you'll get the oregano through your food and, and you, this thing. It's just like a whole handful of oregano. <laughs> So it's a really it's a really good oil to have, but as far as the uh, the properties of oregano and what it does, it really is this antibiotic. So if you're feeling like you're coming down with something, you need to apply oregano to your body and on your feet, and more than more than three times a day, depending on how you're feeling. But it doesn't cure; it just pushes out these these infections, pushes out the virus, cleans out your cells at a cellular level, and gets the bacteria out of your system quicker, more effective than anything else that you're going to take. But as you can see on the bottom there, used with caution. It is very, very hot. So our friend um, Maggie and the team, she, she was saying the other day, she uses it on her kids as well, very young kids, when they have an infection or a virus coming up and she will dilute it and just use it on their feet. And she calls it pizza feet. <laughs> so these kids are like, oh, can we have pizza feet? <laughs> so it's really cute. But just to mention as well, I don't know if you've done that yet, Patrick, but I did it before where a skin tag if you use it um, straight, you can actually just pop it on a skin tag. Like a wart or a mm, tag. And it'll actually dry up and it'll fall off. So that's how powerful it is, which is really wonderful if you're intending to do that, but you certainly don't want that on, on the rest of your body. So it's yeah. very strong. Uh, frankincense. So the oil of the kings, obviously it's been used uh, for millions of years back in the biblical times. But frankincense is a beautiful oil. It's, um, if you, if you need something and you're not sure what to use, you would just use the frankincense. Again, it's great for the skin. Uh, it's got these anti-aging properties. It's uh, great for your mind. Uh, it's, it's really good for healing wounds. So last week we had an incident where Ollie trod on a nail in the garden, while running in the garden. So he had a really big piece of skin off the bottom of his foot. And we thought, well, it's probably not gonna be stitched. But so we just put frankincense straight on it. He was still in pain, he was bleeding. It <clears throat> stopped the bleeding instantly. And then we um, applied a, a bandage and that basically just sealed it off. Excuse me for a second. So we still did go to the hospital to seek some, me some medical advice on whether we needed to do anything further with it. But an hour and a half later when we got to the hospital and they opened it up and had a look at it, which I hadn't done since we put the bandage on it. I said, oh, this is fantastic. It's really sealed well. I can see that it's, uh, it's, it's quite deep, but I don't think we need to do anything with it. So they were uh, quite amused when I told them I just put frankincense essential oil on it and it sealed it up. So mm. they were quite pleased mm. with the way, that we, the way that we reacted and looked after him. Yeah, it's really nice because a lot of, obviously, medical professionals aren't always trained in natural solutions. So it's really nice when you go in and you show them the results and they're really, really shocked. I actually had a little procedure done quite recently and the nurse that was taking care of me, she's not one of my customers or that she buys doTERRA from somebody else. And um, she was telling me that her dad actually had skin cancer, had a big lesion on his face and she applied the, the melaleuca on there repeatedly every day and that actually just went away. So it's really, really encouraging to hear that from medical professionals as well. And we have a lot of doctors and nurses and vets and everybody um, working with doTERRA oil as well, which is really exciting, exciting changes. Yeah, that was a great, great story. That one. Yeah, it was really powerful. Uh, Digestin, so this is a blend. Um, <clears throat> it's got a lot of really, really good, good oils in there. And the, the blends that doTERRA make are quite fantastic. I mean, you, you, you use them and you try and make your own blends and they, they come out well, but the blends they have are absolutely spot on with, with what you need. So if you have any stomach issues at all, any digestive problems, uh, any sort of motion sickness, um, heartburn, this is the oil that you need to use. And you just apply it exactly where you need it. So if you've got a stomach ache low down, you put it low in your tummy. If you've got acid reflux, you put it up around your neck. It just, if you've got motion sickness, you can put it on the back of your neck or on your feet, or even, even on your wrists. But Zengest is a fantastic oil. It's, again, it's in the top 10. It's one that we always have on hand. And, you know, we're using it at least once a week for something. When I first started, I had a lot of problems. That's what a lot of my medication was for. So I used to go through like a bottle of that in a month. 
at first. I was just reapplying all day, every day. Yeah. But now I only use that surf now and then. Um, deep blue. Now, deep blue is the equivalent of what we would know as DP. Now, DP, we've all would have heard of that. We've all done sport or seen sport or had someone that's used DP. Now, DP is a product that is basically derived from petrochemical. It's, it's a, a great product for tricking the mind, thinking that it's working. But actually, what it's doing is heating up, the, heating up the position that where you've applied it and it's not doing anything to relieve the pain. But deep blue does exactly the opposite. You apply deep blue to anything that you have, any problem that you have, whether it's a, sometimes I have a sore elbow from cutting a lot of bread rolls, or sometimes I've got a sore wrist or a sore knee. You apply it and within a day it's gone. It's remarkable how quickly and how effective this is. Muscle pain, Ollie uses it when he dances. Dan Ollie's dancing four times a week. He's always putting on the deep blue and it relieves the pains and gets those muscles back to normal pretty much within a day. You can even put it on, you can put it on afterwards like you're talking about and you can even put it on before as yeah. well, right? And that prepares the yeah. muscle for your yeah. exercising or exertion. I've got a couple of friends who are boxers and they always get sore shoulders and um, sore back. So they put it on before they train. And what they say is it actually starts to burn after they train. So they're getting all the benefit and as soon as they start <laughs> to cool off, they get this amazing heat which is what the deep blue are penetrating and your body's cooling off, but it's, they, don't, they never have any issues with sore muscles. So deep blue, definitely one that you need to have if you're an athlete. Uh, yeah, and the other thing, it can reduce your, um, your migraines and your headaches. Again, it does have, a, it does have an amount of peppermint in there, uh, amongst other oils, camphor and peppermint, but it, it is really good for that. Yeah, well. de-stressor, really, all over. So next one. Okay. Breathe. It's now called air in Europe and it's called easy air, I believe in Australia just now. Again, it's, it's related, you can see it's blue and they do a bit of color coding doTERRA. So the, the, deep, the deep blue is blue colored and the breathe is blue and the peppermint is blue because they've got similar sort of properties in them. Now this one is, is not deep blue, it's air, but it's also in that category, it does have part peppermint in it, but this is, if you have a cold or runny nose, or you're feeling like you can't breathe properly, this is the product that you need to use. So you could have a sniffle for a cold coming up. You could have a sniffle because you might be dehydrated. You could have a sniffle because you're in a cold environment, a little bit of breathe on your chest. And if you've got a cold, a little bit just under your nose. And within a few, within a few minutes, you'll start to stop sniffing. It's, it's a fantastic, mm -hmm. fantastic oil. I gave it to a friend, he was here and he had a cold. He came from, this is before Corona started. He'd been in Germany, he'd been traveling around. It was a young kid, so he'd been partying a lot. He had a cold, for, he was sniffing for three or four days. And just before he left, I made him up a little, a little vial. So I used a carrier oil and some breathe and a bit of peppermint. And I got him to use it. Within 10 minutes, he'd stopped sneezing and he'd stopped blowing his nose and he was amazed. So he took some with him and he used it all the way home. And by the time he got back to Australia, he was fine. He didn't have that problem anymore. So breathe needs to be in your arsenal. It's definitely something that you're going to use all the time. I don't think Ellie will mind us telling her story as well. She, um, this is another girl. She's not in my team. She's actually another team of Dutar, but we're all very friendly and we all work together. Um, she's a lovely girl and she... Um, yeah, the back is running as well. Um, okay, so uh, yeah, so she was in China when all this stuff was going on with Corona, and she got such a bad cough, and she actually broke her rib from her coughing. Her and her husband both got sick, and um, so Breathe was one of the oils she had with her, and that was like her absolute lifesaver. So um, yeah, it's really really powerful. Even if somebody has just like breathing problems at night when they're sleeping, a lot of people struggle then, um, or they might have. Um, Snoring problems as well. It's a really good one. Although the other one for snoring is actually rubbing time on your big toe because of the reflexology points. Meant to be super, super. Yeah, great, <laughs> great in the diffuser though. Air if you're um, if you're sleeping. Yeah, or people with asthma love it as well, yeah. just to really help those airways open up. So the next one is on guard. Now this is basically a a, a human sanitizer. Can be taken internally as a mouthwash. Um, on your hands, if you're out and about and you don't have anything to sanitize your hands. Again, in your food, it's, it's got 
uh, some some orange in there and some cinnamon so it's great for food if you're adding it to chocolates and different things it boosts your immune system so if you again coming down with something you put on guard on your feet um, morning and night if you need to depending on how you're feeling but it, it will penetrate in and it, it is basically that that immune boost that you're looking for uh, as a cleaner we then again add it to our bottles top it with water spray it on the benches and wipe it off it's fantastic for uh, cleaning and making sure everything's disinfected uh, and it, yeah it's good for your sore throat so if you've got a sore throat you can put it in some water and gargle it or you can just put a couple of drops in your mouth and let it let it sit there and, and swish it around and it's great for that on guard. And Tatara use it for a lot of their products, like all the cleaning products, the um, hand soaps, um, laundry detergent even, and a toothpaste, mouthwash, everything like that is yeah. all based yeah, on. Yeah, on guard is actually a big range, but they do have an essential oil then that like Ebony said, it goes into all cleaning products, all called on guard, but it's all based in the same the same uh, recipe yeah. mm. and even the soft gels we love the soft gels as well so that's ready-made soft gels but they actually have oregano in them as well so that's like your real like i'm coming down with something that's when you start yeah. taking those soft gels or as a preventative oregano. usually once a month we'll yeah, do a we five do day on guard supplement so from monday to friday we take one gel with our supplements not that we need them but we just do it just to just to keep our immune system up yeah okay and then we won't spend long on these at all, but these are actually doTERRA's number one product. Obviously, a lot of the oil bottles will last you for a very long time. So another way that people love to look after themselves is using the amazing supplements that doTERRA make. They've got three different kinds that are the most popular. You can buy them in a packet. Um, and they're actually, yeah, the number one product that doTERRA make. And they've got a 30-day satisfaction guarantee. So if you take full dose and you don't feel any different after 30 days, you can get your money back. Um, because the full dose is, I mean, a lot of people just take half dose because that can also be enough. But the full dose is like really, really quite powerful. I mean, I really think that helped get me off all my medications. So there's a food nutrient complex, there's a, which has got everything in it you could possibly need as a basis for your nutrition. There's a cellular vitality complex, which is really great for your cell renewal and looking after your cells at that, that really deep level. And then an omega, which in itself is absolutely incredible and it's sourced extremely sustainably and well, beautiful quality omega oil. And they also have a vegan version. But along with those omegas, it's also got a whole bunch of other stuff added um, and very small amounts of essential oil because it's being used internally um, on a daily basis. Um, but yeah, really, really makes a huge difference. So you might be wondering how to get these oils into your home by now. So there's three different ways. We'll just breeze through this really quickly. You can reach out to us and get more information specifically, but you can buy them retail. It's the most expensive way, full price. You can buy them in Australia. You can buy them off the shelf retail and in some other countries as well. Um, however, and you can buy them through us retail as well. If you just want to buy one or two bottles, that might make sense for you. If you want to wait and decide if you want a bigger kit, um, most people buy wholesale, so you can buy them with a 25% discount. You can open an account for it's about $35 or about £24 to open the account, and that will give you 25% for the whole year. So even if you only want a few oils, it could be worth it just to open that account and get your discount right from the get-go. Um, or you can buy a kit from doTERRA, and they have kits for all different um, budgets. They have like travel size oils, they have sleep kits, you know, physical wellness kits. There's even a cooking kit in Australia. Um, or they have the home essentials kit, which is really wonderful as well. But all those kits come with, um, with the membership included. So you get that for free, as well as the other benefits from buying a kit. Um, so that's, that's the most popular way. And then you can also save money by buying regularly with doTERRA you don't ever have to buy again even if you open an account blah 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 there's no necessity there's no minimum unless you're doing the business where there is certain stipulation but with um customers generally you can buy whatever you want whenever you want but if you do decide to use the loyalty rewards program which again you can stop at any time but if you do want to be replacing some of your products like your skincare your toothpaste your mouthwashes your cleaning products it's really easy to buy regularly and that allows you to save 
it's actually, as well as the 25% discount, you save up to 30% back. You get that back in points to spend on more free product. So it's a really incredible way to save money through the year. And if you take advantage of all the offers that doTERRA does, you would spend about a thousand pounds a year on your products and you would um, get about 2000 um, pounds worth in products for free. So yeah, you can really save a lot of money, especially if you get really savvy and know which oils are the most cost effective oils to use and which ones are the most expensive and use them appropriately. Then you can really um, get all your different benefits and yeah, save a lot of money as well. Okay, and then we'll just mention, I have mentioned some of the kits. We've got, we've got an even bigger kit than this that you get everything in. We've got this kit's about the middle kit, which you kind of can really transform your home. That's the kit that Patrick started with. Yeah, I took this kit because basically it allowed me to stop using anything in my life that, was, that could have had a toxic, toxic effect. So I had all the oils to experiment with, all the oils to use and, ex and, and experience. <clears throat> and then I had the shampoo and the conditioner, the toothpaste, the washing, uh, the hand wash, and uh, everything that allows you to take any toxicity out of your life, <clears throat> you can start with this kit. So it's, basis. And yeah. it's a lot cheaper. It's about a quarter of the price of the everything kit that I started with, which is, you know, it's expensive. It's a big, big, um, you know, you've got to have a decent budget to go to work with to buy that big kit. So this is a nice option to really transform your home, but not be spending thousands of, uh, of dollars or euros. And then we've got the most popular kit we've mentioned here, which is the Home Essentials Kit. And that gives you the 10 top oils that we've talked about today and a yeah, diffuser for your kit. home. Yeah, it's a brilliant kit. You save a lot of money buying that. You get three times the oil than the smallest kit plus a diffuser for um, double the price, but three times the oil. Yeah, great starting point. Really good way to bring that all into your life. And then I've just mentioned the smallest kit here as well because it's really good for anyone that's on a small budget. By the time you buy a few of your favorite oils, you may as well go with this. You get the 10 top oils, plus you get a couple of beadlets, which is fantastic. They're in five mil bottles, so a smaller amount, and then you can decide which ones you love the most, which ones you want to buy more of, mm. and which ones you're fine with for a it's while. It's still over 85 drops per bottle, so it's a lot of oil. It's a lot of oil, yeah. They should last you quite some time. <laughs> okay, so hopefully that gives you... Um, oh, the kits start at around... 100 euros and around um, 100 pounds and it's about 175 dollars i think in australia for for the smaller kits okay and then <clears throat> when you have a wholesale membership that lasts for a year and you can buy whatever you want with that discount and then after a year you can renew your wholesale account and there's a small charge it's about 20 um $20, I think it is, and about 15 euros, something like that. But you actually get a free peppermint, which is about the same price, and you get that compensated. And also you get your shipping. So anything you pay for shipping, you get that back in product points to spend on things for free. So they really do try and look after us a lot. <laughs> okay, so hopefully you've learned um, some good tips and know how to either use the oils you already have or have a few that you'd like to bring into your home. And feel free to reach out to us for any questions at all. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Brilliant.